I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Overture. A review copy of this game was provided by the developer. This game is like... Uh, what is this game like? This game is like a roguelike gauntlet, but with mouse aiming and slightly bullet hellish. You'll, you'll see. It's easier to see than it is to explain. It's very... Well, it will eventually be quite busy. I don't find it as hard to follow as I thought I might. It's like... We're the warrior, which is the basic... melee sort of unit. Kind of melee. You aim your slashes, and then if anything's within that range, it gets hurt. We deal a good amount of damage. We move at a decent speed. This is pretty much the basic character that's pretty easy to use. There are a whole ton of, of different characters, which we'll see after we show you the main, the, you know, the basics. For the most part, you just want to survive, and there are bosses, and you want to kill the bosses to go to the next level. You also want to pick up all this money, because that's what gives you unlocks, and you can also use it in-game. These boxes contain NPCs, which are just little other people that attack for you and slowly get themselves killed because they're very stupid. These named enemies are like mid-bosses, kind of. They're not even mid-bosses, they're just tough named enemies. They take a lot of hits and otherwise aren't very special. There's a whole bunch of different types of enemies. That explosion of blood was one of my NPCs dying. It's not important. So these normal enemies aren't really the main event. Oops. And yeah, there's stats for each character. They're mostly the same, except it's mostly their attack that's different, but some of them have slightly different attacks. Like, let's take a look at our character here. We have increased defense. Uh, I'm level two, I'm tier two because I upgraded my class. We've got this short range slash and we've got a vortex of magic. Equipment is dropped by enemies. We haven't seen much dropped yet. There's a ring. I think that increases our MP regen. That's my magic attack. Um, this is the mid-boss of the flora. I guess it's a mid-boss. Oh god. You have a health bar in this game, but you can take damage so crazy fast that you may as well treat it like a bullet hell game. Not a good idea to take much damage. And while you're supposed to be killing that boss there, it's kind of best to retreat from those and wipe out enemies until you get some health. Leveling up will also heal you, of course. Well, not of course, but not uncommon for that to happen. Okay, I'm gonna need to kill that guy. I kind of wish there was a way to turn off the numbers. I... The game's not super hard to follow, like I initially... I was initially pretty overwhelmed, but... Once you start to get used to it, pretty manageable. I could deal without the numbers. I don't think they add much at all, and they definitely make it harder to follow what's going on. There aren't many options. The game is mouse and keyboard only because the aiming really does need the mouse, honestly. May as well collect all these NPCs. Every floor is randomized. All the drops are random. It'll immediately tell you in red or green, which is not very colorblind friendly by the way, whether your the item you see is better or worse than what you've currently got. I don't believe there's any real colorblind friendly um, indicator. You just you can sort of know because that green thing. Um, well, I can't actually remember the orders now that I'm thinking about it, but. There are different tiers of equipment, and they're almost always better than better or worse than each other once you know. But not necessarily. Like, there's this fire sword that's usually 50 attack. I got it the another run, and it was 70. Not sure entirely what's up with that. I've only played for like about an hour, but I am really surprised and really like it. Best thing about this character is that bosses go down pretty quick and very simple to aim. 
there's some enemies, er, not enemies, some players with very high or very long range and cool special attacks, but uh, they don't kill bosses very fast. I'll give you a rundown of the classes that I've unlocked as soon as I die, which will happen. I've only gotten to level 3 so far. It's pretty hard. It's, I mean, it's a roguelike. I mean, are there many... I can't think of any roguelikes that's like deliberately easy or at least just moderately difficult. Like, see, there we go. If you get stuck on an enemy, you're probably going to die. But it'd be interesting to see a roguelike that's not focused on difficulty, just like every run is expected to end successfully, but there's still some hook that keeps you playing. That would be interesting. So yeah, for warriors, we've got knights, which are like super, super short range. Higher defense, but just really hard to play as. And they have a dash attack as their special. Peltalist. They have these long-range spears, and they deal just complete garbage damage, and I can't stand them. They do have piercing attacks, but just, they're so bad for bosses, I can't stand it. Barbarian? I don't think I've played with Barbarian yet. May as well unlock this brute. Not sure what either of those do. One annoying thing is you can't see what a class is until you start the game, at which point you can just press escape. Oh yeah, and the running thing is very important. But yeah, let's see what this guy stats their stuff. Short range hammer to the face, turn red and throw powerful hammers. Oh, that's cool. It's like a mode. Yeah, so this guy is just very short range, very high attack. And the level graphics are a little randomized too. It's like here's a grassland sort of thing. I don't think it really matters as far as what enemies you see. Yeah, let's take a let's go back. You can also save and quit and just continue like immediately where you were. Like even if you were being set on fire, you're just gonna be right on fire. So that's all the warriors. I don't have the soldier unlocked yet. Ranger is like a long range, shoots arrows. I don't like the ranger, it doesn't do much damage. Rogue shoots like this nail thing. Pretty decent. Thief is really good, like long range knife. Trickster has this instant, wherever you click, it attacks. And it's really cool. Um, Thief has this, like, as you send mist out and you're invisible, and enemies just stop moving because you're in the mist and you can wail on them for damage. So Thief is one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite in the Rogue category. Trickster, uh, not a huge fan of. I'm not a big fan of any of these so far. Wizard and Witch, like the Wizard sends out fireballs. Witch also sends out fireballs, but they sort of follow your mouse. It's pretty interesting, but I don't know, just not really a huge fan of it. Cleric. Hard to explain. I'll just show you. Sort of an odd moment of loading at the start. So Cleric has these homing balls of light, and it also just shoots this short range, continuous blast of damage. The Priestess has sort of the opposite. It has these very short range homing fireballs and long range little things of light. And I'm not really sure what my special does, it just sends out these sparks. I think they're homing. But I'm not a huge fan of the magic users. I'll show you the trickster next. Oh yeah, running is important. The way running works is kind of weird. You have to be facing the mouse, not shooting, and... You know, you just follow the mouse. And so it makes running away from boss attacks and stuff a very deliberate action. So you gotta stop firing, you gotta pick up stuff. And runs are very short, and not just because you die immediately, but that also tends to happen. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention the price. The game's only five bucks. It's at this exact moment, four dollars. I'm not sure if the sale will still be on. It's like a launch price. But 
I mean, I've already played it for an hour. I would say $5 is pretty cheap for it. It's pretty hard, but I mean, roguelike. Honestly, my biggest complaint is it does that weird thing where it has pixel art, but they don't really scale quite right, like on the main menu screen. I'll have to show you, but the pixels of the sprite aren't always the same amount of pixels as it animates on the screen, and that just bugs me. It's not a reason to not buy the game, but it frustrates me to see pixel art games do stuff like that. And also the, the numbers. The numbers make it fairly hard to follow. I was caught on that wall thing, I think. I died. Yeah, even a fairly bad run will easily net you about a thousand gold, as you saw there. Let's try this Barbarian. So... Yeah, see, it is pretty weird with how it... Oh, this is the same attack that that knight has. It's very high damage, very... Very awkward to use. You have to be either right in their face. I guess this is actually longer range than the... I think it's knight. But yeah, with the knight, I had to basically let them walk into me. I don't really like this character. What's... hold on. Increase defense. Slash and stun. Cloud of blood that deals heavy damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, the thing about this game is that contact damage will kill you very, very quickly. Projectiles generally take a while, so your health bar actually matters for projectiles. If an enemy is, like, actually touching you, you're probably just gonna die. Yeah, there's all these equips. I haven't gotten many equips yet, because I keep dying so fast. But eventually you'll have a full set of equipment. And those archer guys are basically what the archer or whatever the first rogue class was. Also destroying... there's lots of different items to break on the map. Uh, the boxes have NPCs, chests have goodies of course. There are red barrels that explode enemies nearby. Regular barrels are just full of money because that's where everyone stores their money, in barrels. Uh, these blocks are just in the way, and you can break them. There's also uh, gravestones, which, when you break them, you get a lot of money, but they spawn a ton of enemies. Always worth breaking them, them by the way, though. It's just... it's a lot of money, and money is very important. At least for me, because I'm trying to unlock everything. Oh, wow. That's a new one. So that's going to be annoying to attack with this guy. Certain enemies are easier than others to attack with different characters. So like, that guy would have been very easy to attack with a long range character, but not so much with this one, but whatever, I still killed it. You just gotta wait for gaps in their patterns, generally. Also, these sword racks, if you walk past them, they'll drop a weapon or something. There's also, after a certain amount of time, this arrow will guide you to the level boss. Or mini boss, or whatever it is. Like, there's a stair boss, and then there's a four realsies arena boss that you have to fight each time. Alright, let's go on. Let's desecrate that grave first. Always desecrate graves. They're just... it's definitely always worth it. Parker, hold on. My cat's trying to destroy the house again. Okay. Oh yeah, and different equips. Certain times they have, like... This one has a chance to show uh, proc poison when you kill enemies. Different equips will have different effects, and one annoying thing is you really don't know what they have until you pick it up and see it on that menu, which, why would you open up that menu 
Unless you knew there was a effect on it. I wish it was better about it communicating that to you. I usually don't open these unless they're very cheap. Mostly just because I need to hoard my money for the unlocks. Also, this game is very tiny. I think it was like less than 100 megabytes. And I mean, yeah, it's pixel art, but I mean, a lot of games are surprisingly large. I guess this guy isn't too bad. I really would prefer a longer range, but... Like, this aura has longer range than my normal attack, which is sad. Also, when you pick up a, mo a potion, it's not like instant. I keep saying like, I need to stop that. But it's not instant, but it has this constant regen effect that is very, very fast. So you, it basically gives you a few seconds to just spam mana, mana attacks. Why did I say mana that time? I usually say mana. Whatever. I can't see. Okay. There are some panic moments where you can't see what the heck is going on. Oh good, just just spawn that inside the wall. Thanks. I'm not sure what the point of these things are. They obscure part of the level, but generally... Oh goodness. Generally they're not really a big impediment. Like, I've never seen enemies hiding behind one or anything. I don't think they tried to do that. Those fires will kill you really fast. If you're feeling pressured by a boss... Generally, you just want to run away for a second. And you can deal with the trash mobs, get back in to a more suitable pattern. Money. Oh god, oh god, okay. Money. And as soon as you go through one of those level bosses, all of your NPCs are probably going to be dead. So don't even worry about them. They're just complete replaceable garbage. They're a nice bonus though, so you always want to pick them up. Just don't worry if they die. You can't do anything to protect them. Uh, did I forget to mention, these enemies with a name, they just have a ton more health. They don't really act any different. But you want to kill them for, I'm sure, more experience and more money. There's also, I guess I didn't mention, there's experience, so you level up within a run. And there's also tiers, so you can upgrade your class to... Ugh, I should have been running away. Contact damage with bosses will kill you very fast. Things in this game kill you very fast. Hmm... Let's try a different shaman. Paladin, Monk, Justicar. It'd be a Justicar, sure. AKA White Mage, apparently. Okay, so it's exactly the Witch. This is very close to what the Witch does. Homing fireballs and short range fire. Beams of damaging light that tracks down enemies. Ah, so it's basically... Okay, it's basically the witch with the fireball thingies from the... What was that called? Not the priestess, but the... Whatever the name of this class is. I don't remember. The shaman, that's what it is. We saw it earlier. I can't words, but that's fine. Also, I kind of wish it would just auto-equip the first item that drops, but whatever. Excuse me. So yeah, the characters all play very differently because of the range, so... Ah. Ow. Uh, I'm not good with the mages, and I'm not good with most of the projectile characters, honestly. The Cleric. Okay, that's what it was. See, I haven't even bothered to unlock most of the mages. I don't really like them. But I do like the Thief. Let's... let's... 
actually, let's upgrade him. And let's see how we run here around here. And you can walk through any of this water or lava looking stuff, it just slows you down. Also, yes, the bosses are just giant, normal enemy sprites. They do have all have unique patterns and stuff, so the bosses are still cool. Oh, there's these red circles that only appear once you get near them. Those traps, they spawn a bunch of enemies. Usually nothing to be too worried about. The main problem is that they spawn all around a big circle. They're not tough to kill, but it's annoying if they're actually all around you, because, you know, no one really has good skills for dealing with that. Oh. No, the rogue was the one with the... Heidi, the smoke bomb sort of ability. This guy shoots out these red things. I like this guy just because he has really good DPS and it's super long range. Well, honestly, I like this guy because I had a really good run with him, but I think it's because he has good DPS. My impressions of all of the characters are highly biased by how well I did in my first run with them. But I think that's a somewhat legitimate way to gauge them. So when you see that blue aura around my character, I'm regaining mana because of this stupid... I never know how to pronounce that, I guess. I'm just saying it different every time. Um, it regains it. And, uh, you can just spam stuff. Though not all abilities are actually very useful to spam. Well, you're new. I don't think I've seen that tree dude before. Let's kill it. It's very nice to have a good DPS long-range character, because they're very nice for these bosses. Even though... I'm sure I still have lower DPS than the warrior. That's generally how it goes, but you can actually dodge some of that. Aw, oh, crap. Traps are problematic when you're in the middle of a boss fight or something. And enemies just spawn constantly, they'll just creep on from the edge of the screen if you've killed most everything else. Also, the music's pretty nice. Sort of... I don't know, Kirby-ish, almost. Also, I think it's like always a giant slime that's blocking the door. I could be wrong, but it usually is at the very least. I've definitely seen a lot of giant slimes. Also, that hit stop means you're gonna die very soon and you should be running. Oops. Oh, good. Thanks. I don't even know how much money I just lost. Also, it's kind of neat that things stick in the walls. The arena, when I was using that stupid Spear Knight that has terrible DPS, was just completely littered with spikes. I think I took a screenshot, it was just ridiculous. So yeah, chests are my favorite just because they're completely full of money. And I want to unlock all of the crap because I'm a compulsive completionist. Even though I'll probably never use most of the characters more than once or twice. But whatever, I still want them. Just because I never use it doesn't mean I don't want it. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Also, the named characters don't have an HP bar, you just kind of have to wail on them until they die. Everything else has a HP bar. And some of them seem to ha just have insane amounts of health, like above what the other named characters have. I'm not sure what's up with that. Like, I saw one that was supersized, and it was this weird, like, wild and woolly shambler sort of thing. Only Earthbound players will know what I mean, but 
It's like a big fuzzy thing. And it just took ages to kill. I know part of it was because I was the spear dude that sucks, but it was just ridiculous. See, these... I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a perk! Oh, okay. So the perk there has different abilities almost all the time. Other s equipment can have a bonus effect, but it's fairly rare. Like, I found a sword that spawns... Oh god. I found a sword that spawns skeletons and stuff. I'm dying. I'm very dying. Something please drop some health. Most of the other stuff will not have abilities, but it can. Oh god. Okay, I need to not be anywhere near this boss at all. Someone please drop a red potion for Pete's sakes. Okay. okay. Now I just have to get to it alive. Please don't despawn the potion. Oh god. That was the most awkward 10 seconds of my entire life. Oh well. Yes, I died, Parker. Okay. Stoop, Parker. Yes. I'm playing a video game, Parker. Let's unlock one of these guys. Actually, let's try that Necromancer. That sounds kind of interesting. You have no face! That's great. No face at all. And let's also get that Invoker. Let's see what the Invoker does, but let's actually play as the Necromancer. Oh, I've never heard this track before. Oh, whoa. Super short range all around. Also, certain attacks are intelligence versus strength. I'm not. I think intelli or attack just affects both of them. So yeah, short range flame attack. Transform into a powerful demon. That's pretty awesome, honestly. This character might not suck, but I still want to play as the Necromancer instead. Huh. Very short transform transformation, though. Let's try out this Necromancer. Yes, I know. Okay, okay, what? I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that was more the game's fault than mine. I think I spawned literally inside an enemy. Like, I couldn't even process what happened until I was dead. I am inside a wall. I can't... Okay. I was inside a wall. That's... I... I would appreciate if the game would re refrain from spawning me inside walls and or enemies. I don't know why this keeps happening. Never actually had that happen before until just now. Okay. That's better. Whoa. Homing fireball, 50% chance of normal fireball. So you can just straight up spawn skeletons. Excellent. That's kind of what I was hoping. Oh, this thing. There are also jumbo-sized not slime things that just sort of hover around menacingly. They won't end the level if you beat them, but you should probably kill them. For drops and stuff, of course. Okay, hold on. Why am I so slow? Oh, yeah, some characters are slower or faster than others or have other stat differences. I'm not sure I like the Necromancer. Skeletons just kind of die. At least they do against this thing. I had this sword that spawned skeletons that was actually pretty cool. And they seem to survive a decent amount of time. Okay, I was dealing some pretty good damage there. This is the sort of character that you can abuse that mana regen with. Let's look at that. Excellent.
Okay, maybe you're not terrible. But yeah, see, they usually just swarm an enemy and don't die, but I guess the boss things can kill them? There we go. Let's see if they die to this thing. Yes, they do. Oh god. Ah. See, death still comes quite swiftly. That's why my record is still... I thought it was floor three. Maybe that was with a different character. Is the rogue the one I was thinking of that hides? That was odd. Ah, yes it is. You can pretty much just sit there and wail on, like, even... Oh yeah, you have a short range attack, though. That's the downside. I swear I'm doing worse than I usually do. I still usually die fairly quickly. I usually may make it to the first boss, though. Let's bandit. Oh, can't unlock anything else. Let's do one more run. And see the priestess. I don't even remember what... Wait. There's a 50% chance I know what the priestess does. Oh yeah, it's this. That's not too bad. That loading, that initial loading is really awkward. Because I'm not sure if I need to click to make it go faster, and it seems really slow considering everything else. So yeah, we've got long range orbs and short range homing fireball thingies. That is a lot of experience pickups. I forget if I mentioned, but the level ups are only for within your run. You need gold to purchase permanent upgrades. There's scrolls and books that increase your experience. Not by a super amazing amount, but if you see them, you better, you better pick them up. What's hitting me? I guess what's hitting me is my primary complaint of the game. I would really like to be able to turn off those numbers. But it's also quite hectic, but... ah, don't spawn it outside of the thing! I don't know, I've had a lot more fun with it than I thought I would initially, like... It was pretty hard at first. Well, still pretty hard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. But after a couple of runs, it was pretty fun. What is my mana thing? I still don't know what it is. Cloud of dust stuns enemies. Oh. Oh! I see it. It's just pretty faint. Alright. And yeah, this thing is like the pity arrow that says, Hey, you're playing really slowly. Just go over here and kill the boss, okay? And we can all go home. Oh, I guess some normal enemies explode into blood, too. Oh, hello. It's that red one again. Level up heal you. I forget if I mentioned that. Generally, killing the, final, the boss of the floor will always do a full heal. Not sure if it always levels you up. It probably doesn't. But it's a full heal. Try to sneeze while things are shooting you. Book! Don't despawn book! 
Okay, I should really get some health. I don't think I can reach it. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Okay. Even the health potions take a little bit to take effect, but they also heal over damage you take while, you know, the f original healing. So that's kind of nice. You're almost invincible to normal enemies while that healing is going on. Let's kill at least one more boss, shall we? It's a glob, dude! Oh god, Molten Golem. Killing my face. Oh goodness. Why are there books? Why were there books? I must have something that makes them drop books when I hit them. Well, we failed to kill the Molten Golem. But yeah, that is Overture. It's pretty fun if you like roguelikes and you have very good spatial awareness, you might want to check it out. Link in the description, as always.